Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial from my YouTube channel that is biology at your fingertips and today we are learning a very important topic that are the clotting factors. So there is a trick to memorize all the clotting factors which are 13 in number so we have to emphasize firstly on the trick which is a simple English sentence and then we are going to elaborate it and I am going to tell you that how you can memorize all the clotting factors by memorizing this particular sentence. So the sentence is Polish people try climbing long slopes you don't have to memorize this. So, the Polish people try climbing long slopes after Christmas. Here I have put it a comma mark. So, you have to give stoppage. Polish people try climbing long slopes after Christmas. Some people have fallen. A very simple English sentence. So, how you can memorize these clotting factors from this particular sentence? You have to leave number 6. Firstly, we are going to discuss the clotting factor number 6. This is an hypothetical clotting factor which is not present practically. Which is not present practically. This is only an hypothetical clotting factor. So, foolish people try climbing long slopes. The slope is number 7 because we have skipped number 6. After Christmas, some people have fallen. So this is the sequence of this particular clotting factors which is very important in coagulation cascade. When we are learning coagulation cascade, then we have to memorize these sequences. So you have to memorize this particular sentence in sequence. So in foolish, F means fibrinogen which is the clotting factor number 1. People, P means prothrombin number 2. Tri, T means thromboplastin. Number 3, C, that is the calcium ion, Ca2 positive, which is number 4, long, L means Levi factor, which is also known as proaccelerin, you have to remember that, proaccelerin, number 5, the number 6, as we have already discussed, it is an hypothetical clotting factor, number 7, slopes, simply means stable factor, After A means anti-hemophilic factor A. Christmas simply means Christmas factor which is also known as anti-hemophilic factor B. Here it is A and here the Christmas factor is anti-hemophilic factor B. Sum S means Stuart Proverts factor. P means plasma thromboplastin antecedent which is the anti-hemophilic factor B. C. This is very important from examination point of view. Have. That is 12th number. H means Hagman's factor. H-A-G-E-M-A-N. That is Hagman's factor. And number 13. Fallen. F simply means fibrin stabilizing factor. So, the clotting factors are from number 1 to number 13. Foolish people try climbing long slopes after Christmas. Some people have fallen. The number 6 is hypothetical one. Number 1 is fibrinogen, then prothrombin, then thromboplastin, calcium ion, Levi factor, hypothetical factor, which is very important. Stable factor, anti-hemophilic factor A, Christmas factor or anti-hemophilic factor B, which we will study when we are reading hemophilia. Stewart-Prover factor, plasma thromboplastin, antecedent, Hagman factor and fibrin stabilizing factor. So this is a trick to memorize all the clotting factor which forms a very important question in all medical entrance examination because these factors are going to help us to understand the coagulation cascade which we are going to discuss about in next lecture. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching this video.